Hello and welcome, I'm Marumba. thank you for joining me. Let's play some more Raja of the Rajput Reich. So we have vassals, we have lots of vassals. Um, it's time to integrate some of them. Um, Afghanistan, Ethiopia, let's see. When can we integrate Afghanistan? Not until 14. Long time. Same thing with uh, Khorasan. Who else are we capable of integrating at least sometime in the near future? Um, ba -ba -bum, Vichyanagar we just got in. Bamanis we can integrate. Yeah... Aha! Uh -huh. Are we already integrating them? No, we're not. We can integrate them right now, and they have all of their cores except for Golconda, which is what we were waiting for. They became a vassal. I think we just integrate without worrying about it then. Get get that relationship slot out of the way. Vijayanagar has a claim on that province anyway, so we can feed that to them. So yeah, um, we're going to improve relations here. We're going to integrate Bahmanis. Okay, next was uh, not the Mamluks, but Alodia. I think we do want to integrate them, and we need to stop, start, improve relations with them quite a bit. We're working on relations with Ethiopia, we are working on relations with uh, Alodia. And do we care about Ethiopia that much? Is it time to annex them in 15? We have 10 years. We don't need to improve relations with them for the moment. Okay, alright, without further ado, let's do that. Um, the other thing we're waiting on is, I believe it was... Um, it was a year, right, until we had a truce with you. Yeah, December of 05. So that means January of 06 we can attack Madurai and feed Vijayanagar cores back. And August of 06, so September of 06. I wish it would just say the actual month. It says, have a truce with Nagar until August. No, not really. It's September. Like, just say freaking September. Because that's the month that I can actually declare war. Like, come on. Anyway, um, sorry. I don't know why I got un un like unreasonably angry about that, but... Ottomans have rivaled us, okay? Kind of makes sense. Seeing as we rivaled them. And I did, I did just load the game up, so they decided to become enemies with me now. Hejaz had become a vassal under them. Gain base tax, cool. We are not going to westernize yet, so we're not going to do that. Uh, we have Rebel Uprising at 50%. Nagari. Is that... Did we lose, like, um, a theologian or something? Somebody who's reducing revolt risk? We might have. Maybe not. Alright, seems like we're doing fine. Manpower's on its way back up. 41,000. We're at about 25%. We're just in a holding pattern for about a year. Although we can start integrating Bahmanis next month. Oh, and that also reminds me. Um, we need to stop and start improving with Alodia every month. So start. And we wait till the 12th. We start annexing you. We do not need to improve relations with you anymore. So just me. Does the game feel like it's, uh, I guess speed 3 is fine. You're only 91, that's fine. So yeah, every month we improve relations with you. And we basically just annex you as soon as we possibly can. The Janagar, our vassal, has cancelled military access with us. Nice. That makes sense. We have military access anyway, but... Okay, 19th of March, we do that again. And that does mean that I have a couple of diplomats free. So who do we want to use those guys on? Let's see. Our lowest opinion vassal is the Mamluks as well. I guess we could improve with them a bit. And then who else? Khorasan, Bahmanis. We don't care about Bahmanis anymore. Vijayanagar. We kind of care about Vijayanagar. Although it's going to take a while. It's probably Khorasan. is going to be the one that we actually integrate the soonest. Alright, but we already have them tied up. I want to keep two free so we can chain and prove with you. Our truce with Funge is up. Funge, by the way, already pretty much forgot about the atrocities we committed against their peoples. Which is nice. Okay. What are we doing on, like, force limit? 109 out of 131. We've got some naval force limit as well. What's our mission right now? Build an earth rampart. Did I start doing that? Looks like I did not. So, Axum. Must not have had the funding for it. Or no, I am. We are. Why is it not on the list down here? Oh, because it's at the top. You know, that's... Because that's where it belongs, right? No. 
What's going on with the rest of the world, do you think? Let's go check the ledger, see what kind of wars there are. Current wars. Lorraine and Polatnet are fighting. Lana, Pueblo, the Spanish conquest of Toulouse. Okay, so we've got a big war going on in France. How's that one going? Right now, France is winning. I remember I predicted that France would win the war. They typically take more military ideas. Yeah, they've got full offensive and two in defense. Where Spain has full offensive, but no defensive. So, right now, France has Elan, plus 20% morale. And they also have defensive. And I, th I think it's the second one in defensive that gives you even more morale. Yeah, so they've got stupid, stupid amounts of morale. And they're probably going to win. Portugal. I don't think I've ever seen Portugal that big. Alright, so Bahamanas is going to take how long now? April of 09. Oops, I actually missed that one. Oh well. It's only one improved relations for three opinion. And again, we can annex you in August of... No. When was it again? March of 06. So next year. Gotcha, okay. Basically about the time we get you high enough opinion. I wish that marches were a little bit more interesting. Neither of you have any cores that we can return, but it's still quite a bit of territory. We got some conversion done, I guess that's good. It's it's really just the uh yeah, we'll go with that one. 55 months. It's a long time, but might as well. It'll help out when we actually do westernize. That's the only reason I'm doing it. It's long term, it might make a difference. Having just a little tiny bit of extra tolerance. Even if it's only 1.4 reduced revolt risk. If we get some really nasty events from westernization. Uh, not to mention westernization itself adds 5 revolt risk. So... Alright, good. That's done. Form an alliance with Kilwa. Well, we've done that once already, and they're still kind of upset about it. And eventually, I think I am going to vassalize them. The problem is that um, I need to make them spit out a country first, so I don't want to, like, really get their opinion low. Let me just take, um... a star. I mean, maybe... Are you a vassal under anybody yet? You have an alliance with Arissa? I don't want to go to war with Arissa um, if they are not a co-belligerent, so... I also don't really care about that province. I have no... I would not be surprised at all if, like, there's some other country. Well, no one actually, no one has any cores on it. I guess maybe we do need to do that. I don't know. Protect against the Ottomans. Sure. Apparently they just, just this second, ended up with more troops than I have. We have 60 infantry. We'll just build one more infantry. What's the fastest we can train them? 55, 54. We could do a mercenary, but... Eh. We'll go with the 50 day. Hopefully that's enough. Hopefully the Ottomans are not going to continue to build up and I can actually get this mission done. 110. Orchin has declared war on Ming. Still 110. He doesn't remember those settings between saves and re reloading the game. Truce is up. I have been forgetting to do this. It's almost January, which means... Nice, we actually managed to do that. Free army tradition, huh? Okay, um... Bum, 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 bum. Do we want to start in annexing Elodia before we actually declare the next war? I need... 
I need to get them to 165. And then we can send them a gift. How long is that going to actually take? We're getting three per month, twice. So six per month. And we need another 20. So that's four months, basically. Okay, I'm willing to wait four months before we declare. That's assuming I, I remember to do this every single time. And I just screwed it up. Damn it. That damn pop-up made me think that the month had passed. Crap. Monsters declared war in the Netherlands. That's not good. That's not good for the Netherlands. I suppose we could do this. It's not really gonna, like, actually give us a lot of, um, army tradition, but it will help prevent the decay rate from slowing things down a lot. You bastard and your lack of royal marriages. Alright, speaking of the next war, though, do we want to have troops in better positioning? I think so. Let's get you guys split up and then down to these two. These don't march together. Something like that should work. They might meet up in Baglana. Hopefully the supplies there are pretty good. No, it's not. They might suffer some attrition. I don't care. Can't be bothered to micro every little bit of troop movement. Watch these dummies. One of them is going to suffer attrition. These are idiots. See? Look at that. You just had to go and lose men, huh? You just had to. Dummies. They should move smarter than that. Alright, so you're at 163. That means that... Um, rather than stop and start, we just use the free diplomat to send a gift right now. And then at the beginning of next month, sometime next month, we can do it. And now we're ready to declare war. Cool. We're about to get rid of two vassals. We are one relationship over this, uh, over it, so... I like how no one's actually attacking me. It's been a while since we've had to worry about that. Alright, Madurai. We can bring in Koch. I told you idiots to go to different provinces, I swear to god. Yeah, I don't think there's any... anything to really think about here. We've got the annexation started, so it's time to just go kill. You're gonna bring in Golconda. We can feed that. Oh, you know what? That's right. We can... That's right. I'd already thought about that. We could just return it to him while we're at war. Time for some jungle attrition, right? Yay. Fairly sizable army here. He's gonna move in on it. No, he's not. We'll tell our vassals to be... aggressive. Hopefully they'll come down here and do some work. Like, that's your whole army, isn't it? Why don't we just go kill it? I just, I don't like this low supply crap. Hills into a river. 1-3 leader. Our, our leader is... Eh. He's kind of okay. It'd be nice if we actually had some power projection and we could actually have an extra leader. Also, shouldn't we have the ability to make like an admiralty or something by now? And I lost my march? I guess I did expand a bit, didn't I? Probably lost it when you became my vassal. You can build an embassy. What? Oh, no, maybe we do still have the march. We do. 
Right, because of Molten. Okay, good. Good, good, good. I'm, I'm losing my mind a little bit. I mean, they're in tech 13 to our tech 14. We can win. Let's just go fight them. Ugh, I'm just going to hire another general. I want another general anyway. I just want more than one. Wow. Everyone in the whole world likes this better. Sweet. We'll take it. New general just rolled a nine. He's a badass. Right, let's have you actually go down towards here, because I think that's where they're going to run. Hey, we just stack wiped uh, the other guy's army. Cool. You know what, you're a siege leader, and uh, we'll keep, all, keep the artillery here to make this one go a little bit quicker. But we will pull the infantry and the cavalry off. Let's see if we can track down this, this army. Our truce has just expired with Orissa. Awesome. I'd say it's probably about time to attack them. Supply limit is 42 here. I think we'll actually march. We'll, we'll bring both through. Oh, he's going to cross the strait and everything. Hmm. Well, I hadn't really expected that, but sure. Money's fine, so let's just go blockade this straight, and we'll carpet siege everything down and make it quicker. We'll certainly sp speed things along. Meanwhile, do we want to declare war on Orissa? Orissa is allied with Bastar, which is the one province minor. Orissa is, last I saw, very weak. They're on tech 12. The Janagar does have two cores on them. Sorry, three. So I think we do want to attack them, but maybe we hold off a little bit. Of course, I could train some more men, as well. We do have this army. Oh, that's right, you're running Koch. Hmm. I have no vassals over here. I'll fight you without a leader. We'll give it a shot. We've got, um, nine in the front row to his eight. And we've got more cannons. Should be should be fine. Besides, Koch is probably behind us on tech. Yeah, by one level. Not having a general is not good, but we have a morale advantage. They actually have a tactics advantage because of their discipline value, but... Yeah, that fight went totally fine. I have no desire to do anything with Koch. Aside from piece them out. I suppose we could spread out a little bit and speed these sieges up over here as well. Get you guys back in Goa? No, in Indus. We only need enough ships to actually keep the blockades going. Okay, alright, well, let's take a short break here. I'll see you again in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you soon.